Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash today I fucked up. But first let's play r slash drunk or a kid where I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by Strolled Wheat. Climbed up a building, got told to get off, jumped and broke both my ankles. Hmm. Well what do we think? Is this a drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. Now back to r slash today, I fucked up where Baba Duke 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 posted this. Today, I fucked up by eating eight chocolate fibre bars before a long car ride with family and experiencing the most absurd gas leak in history. This happened a year ago, but I just remember this horrific event and the poor victims that never fully recovered. I was set to go on a 10 hour road trip through the interior of British Columbia and with me were two of my cousins and my uncle. However, before our 6am start, I decided the night before to wolf down these chocolate chip Fiber One Plus granola bars that had something like 75% of your daily fibre intake. These things were crazy good and I ended up eating an entire 8 pack of them in one sitting. After that, I went to sleep and woke up in the morning to a bloated stomach but felt fine otherwise. 45 minutes into our ride, the cramps began. My stomach grew larger and larger and I ended up needing to remove my seat belt and undoing the zipper on my jeans to give it more space to expand. My cousin next to me couldn't believe what he was seeing. He said it was like the blueberry scene from Willy Wonka. I couldn't hold the gas in any longer and asked my uncle to pull over, which he did and I struggled to get out of my seat as every move was agony. I waddled to the back of the car and let her rip. A thunderous roar escaped me like an asshole riding his Harley Davidson around the block on a Sunday morning. The gas hissed out of me as my stomach grumbled, shuffled and shuttered. I am not exaggerating when I tell you that this fart lasted at least 15 seconds. Little did I know that I had just broken the seal and I would proceed to experience uncontrollable and obnoxious powerful farts that lasted between 10 to 15 seconds on average with only a brief period of relief between said farts. The fact of the matter was that I was now experiencing major flatulence every two to three minutes and we couldn't stop the car every few minutes to escape the smell so we decided to roll all the windows down and allow me to let loose whenever I needed. However, we had no idea that this would become a much longer ordeal than we initially thought. Truth be told, I couldn't stop farting for nearly seven hours and each fart just had to be more epic than the last. By the time hour two rolled on, my anus was sore and aching and my insides feeling like shards of glass were ripping through me and the smell had become so overpowering that we had to stop at a gas station and buy as many air fresheners as we could. I took one of the air fresheners and sat on it in the hopes that each fart would be freshened up. Instead, it just smelled like rotten eggs and pine. My cousins and uncle resorted to using Vicks around their noses to stop the smell. The pain from constantly farting brought me to tears at one point and I realised how ridiculous it must look to see a grown man crying while farting non-stop. At hour four, disaster struck. I stopped farting, but I was still swelling with gas. I knew I was plugged up and if I didn't do something soon, the pain is going to become unbearable. We stopped at a coffee shop and I ran in to use the bathroom. I gingerly sat down on the toilet and gently pushed. The pain was too much. I resorted to pushing on my stomach to help things along and suddenly I felt this wave of pressure that made my butt cheeks break into a cold sweat and start to tingle. Suddenly and without warning, a rock-hard turd rocketed out of me like a cannonball. 
and plastered itself to the back of the toilet bowl. And with that, this tidal wave of what could only be described as peanut butter oatmeal. I could feel the muscles in my abdomen squeezing my intestines so hard that it actually hurt. It was like when you're throwing up and you can feel your stomach violently squish itself to push everything out. But instead, it was my butt that was throwing up. Once everything was pushed out, it was topped off by the longest fart in my short, pathetic existence. One that I could never accurately give the length other than to say well over 20 seconds. That I could literally feel and see my stomach shrinking. I destroyed that poor coffee shop bathroom and I frequently wonder what happened to the person who wandered in after me. From that point forward the farts were just as frequent and long but they felt cleaner and less restricted. It began to feel like I was airing my colon out, blowing out all the accumulated dust. My ribs and anus ached horribly but I was starting to feel euphoria wash over me that I assumed was just the endorphin rush my body was given as a way to protect my fragile mind from this ridiculous ordeal. By the time hour seven rolled around, my farts had slowly faded away, but the smell permeated my clothes and the seat behind me. The family had gone through almost an entire container of Vicks and they appeared to have survived the ordeal, but I could tell that a part of them was broken that could never be fixed. It was as though they felt violated by having to breathe in my butt breath for seven hours and I knew my uncle was upset that his car interior would never smell the same again as it already smelled like hot garbage by this point. We eventually arrived without incident and we refused to speak of this event. Things were never really the same between all of us after that and I have a feeling none of us will ever touch eggs ever again. They already ate enough of my farts. They don't need a reminder. I should have never eaten that much fibre. I had no idea it was capable of that. Too long, it didn't read. I ate too many fibre bars and ended up gassing my family and nearly to death over seven hours in a car. I made the scientific discovery that your body can produce ridiculously large farts at an alarming rate. 15 second farts on average, with an average rate of one fart every three minutes. That means I was farting an average of 300 seconds an hour, or 2,100 seconds over seven hours. I farted for 35 minutes. LMAO. Wow, that too long didn't read was a bit too long, almost didn't want to read it. Wow, one fibre, one snack does enough of a number on me. It's amazing how you survive this humiliating ordeal. Really? They only do a number two for me. Two. Shay. <laughs> now back to r slash drunk or a kid. So who was it that jumped from a building and broke their ankles? It was... A kid. 11 year old kid, Janner, told me to get off the roof of the school immediately. Jumped without thinking sat in a wheelchair for one and a half months. Lesson learned. Did you guess right? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you've heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.